soon thereafter, social media began retelling the story using what the superintendent, uh, Mike Patton, describes as inaccurate misinformation. The teacher's husband told me his wife is still reeling from the threats she's receiving on social media, and the superintendent says he's disappointed by what he's read on the social media platforms, and he stresses his teacher did nothing wrong. Our teachers do an incredible job uh, of being professional and being courteous and, and obviously generally caring about our kids. Our staff does, a, it does an incredible job and I think our parents truly appreciate what our, kid, our teachers do for our kids, but there's others in the community that don't understand necessarily what goes on in schools and I think use this as an opportunity to kind of take advantage of the situation, uh, but made some pretty harmful and pretty disparaging comments. And well, perhaps there is an upside to this story. The teacher's husband told me his wife is encouraged by the support from the administration, the staff, the students, and community members. That's the silver lining, he says, and that's what is buoying her spirits right now. He also told me he's currently looking at legal action. Mark? Dan, thank you.